Well, Trevor, two one home defeat to Wigan tonight. Uh, a team at the top of the table, but uh, you certainly gave it your all, didn't you? Yeah, you know, obviously, I think we went toe to toe for most of the game, and you know, it's obviously frustrating taking the lead and coming out in the wrong end of the result. But you know, we're at the stage of the season now where you know performances aren't aren't enough. But you know, there's plenty of positives to take, and uh, you know, I think they'll they'll finish first or second. You know, my honest opinion. So. You know, we're more than matched them at times, so you know you can't go back. So we have to take the positives in this Saturday, and hopefully we can turn these performances into you know results. The turning point of the game perhaps seems to be them scoring in first half injury time to bring it back to one all. Um, it was obviously a poor time to concede and such a poor goal as well, you know. Um, but I don't think you know we we'll regrouped at half time, and I think obviously disappointed, but we we'll come out, you know, just reset and come out and try and. You know, go and win the game, but you know, I think they had a bit more possession second half than the first half. But personally, I felt quite comfortable. You know, you had a chance in the free kick, but we had one or two opportunities ourselves to take the lead, and uh, it was just one of them nights. You know, their winner. You could say it was a foul. Watch the back. The lads watch the back. You know, with two hands on him. He pushes him, and just I think when you're down the bottom, these little things go against you. And uh, but you can't feel sorry for yourself, and uh, you know we have to pick ourselves up and go again. And you've got another big game coming up Saturday as well, Wickham Wonders. Yeah, massive game. You know, getting into these two games, I think, as a team, you know, if you can take one one win out of these two games, you come away and you're probably quite satisfied. So obviously that puts a lot of pressure on us and to go and get the three points on Saturday. And I think everyone watching the game, you know, we've got more than enough to match these teams and you know, one or two things, that's football, it's fine lines and tonight we were in the wrong end of the you know, small margins, decisions and you know, Cole hitting the post, you know, and another day maybe that goes to the other side of the post, but as I say, we're confident, we're disappointed obviously, but we'll come back in Thursday, go again. It's your third game for the club tonight, how have you settled in? Yeah, it's been sort of seamless for me, it's, uh, you know, the lads have welcomed me great, and you know, obviously it's been a mixed bag of results, and, you know, but personally I haven't had a good run of games in a long time, so, you know, I'm finding my feet as well, and, you know, I feel I'll get better and better with every game, so, you know, hopefully that will help the boys and you know it's an easy grip to settle in too. They're all down to earth lads and you know hard working honest boys so you know it's been quite easy yeah. And you're certainly up for the fight like everyone else? Oh massively, every one of us you know it's, it's no one wants a relegation in their CV you know I've unfortunately had it before and it's horrible it sticks with you for all your career and well, we've got more than enough here and it's obviously, what is there, 20 odd games left? It's time to start, you know, turning these performances into three points. And But there's definitely a belief in that dressing room, you know, we certainly haven't down tools or give up. There's plenty of games to play and plenty of points to play for.